Tim started making music when we were maybe 17. In the beginning, it, it didn't really sound too good. It was, it was so bad, actually, to be honest. The first couple of tracks, super awful, like bubblegum trance. But, uh, but that changed fast. He, he was, I think he spent more time making music than he was in school. So he came from like making Barely be, being able to make like one track to pushing out like major hits in like no time. A whole line, a few years back, uh, Tim came to, to Stockholm and he just uh, came to me and he's like, dude, I got a bunch of new demos, let's listen to it. So we start going through demos and it's, it's all good. Like there's so many good producers and songwriters out there. I remember like hearing that, okay, this is from uh, this, uh, this band called Arizona. But I had to look it up and they're like, damn, this, this is pretty good. So we start listening to it again and it's like, there's something so rhythmical about it. So we start playing around with chords. Uh, and the bells you can hear in the beginning, that part. So that was all we had for the longest time. We had like, ah, nice chords, some nice bells. What do we do? And we must have tried like 20 different kind of drops or like, uh, like um, backing tracks for what would be the, the chorus. And then eventually we're just like, nah, 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 nah. It was like, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, actually. It's difficult to go through what a lot of people don't realize that other people go through. Um, him included, and, and I feel like particularly in our industry, it's difficult. The, ex the consistent expectations, um, you know, the, the, the travel, just the wearing thin that happens to you. And, and I think that's where we were in that headspace that day when we wrote it. That's what we were talking about. There needs to be some sort of beacon and m multiple ones and more as time goes on for people to say that, you know, this is difficult, but you're not in it alone and you're not doing this for nothing. Um, and the idea is to stay and fight the best fight you can. It's a, it's a terrible, terrible thing that I feel like it speaks to, but at the end of the day, it, it's, it's um, a positive message. I mean, the lyrics in, in the song, I, I know they're, they can be interpreted as very dark, but it's still, I mean, there's dark, dark, and then there's dark, kind of hopeful. I remember Tim saying when, way back when we started making music, he, that he loved like, a happy track with sad vocals because the contrast is what's, what makes it good. Like when it's a little bit bittersweet, so it's like you're celebrating the now, but you know that now can't last forever, so make the best of it right now. So I think that always resonated with him. That's probably why he fell in love with the track as well. Oh, the line.